Mission 17, carry out the Griffin plan. This is bizarre. What what did I just watch? Back to school, finally. Everyone's favorite, Becky. <laughs> of course. Never miss Berlin to love. Yep. You're in good company, Anya. <laughs> Anya fits right in around here. Ooh, Becky's a little bit condescending today. <laughs> She's wearing her condescension hat. I keep looking for romance stuff, and there's been a fair bit of it. There's been Kaguya Sama Love is War, which is excellent, and Fruits Basket, which lives in my heart forever. But I'm waiting for the, the anime that covers the actual relationship, as opposed to the build up and the flirting. The flirty stuff. It's all flirty stuff. This guy sounds like Shinchan slash Jungu. Meaning we immediately fell out of love and no longer needed him. We need to bond, passing up the obvious first choice for a name. Borf. <laughs> the sound effects though. Whoops, I just conveniently dropped this right in your path. Maybe Becky will like it. Becky will like it. See? This is why we love Becky. <laughs> oh no, oh no, oh no. This was me in elementary school. <laughs> Some people just start early, I guess. Start early and finish late. That's my motto. <laughs> Oh, oh hell yeah, it's gonna be an elegant day of arts and crafts. That's perfect. Why is this art class also survival training? And therefore your entire future. This is basically life or death. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's happening. <laughs> Sometimes fate intervenes. Fate cuts both ways. I'm just devastated that, yeah. But whether or not you can capitalize on that luck is a different story. Even though they're only in elementary school, this is so relatable to me. You're strategizing so hard for your crush, and you're just way off base. Just have this just insane plan that has no connection to their feelings at all. Oh, it's Anya's father. Yeah, it's Lloyd. She really captured the handsomeness. Damn, that is an A-plus work right there. Oh my god. Damn, Becky. No, with, but the option. This is the a high level of unhappiness for an arts and crafts day. Also relatable, just being confused by my crush's behavior. Their obsession for Damien is amazing. That was the griffin. No wonder he's under so much pressure. Then daddy will love me. This is really sad. It's kind of heartbreaking. Everybody is so off the mark. Except for Becky. I love her unbreakable confidence though. She just shakes off failure like it's nothing. It begins again. I think it looks great, I don't know. It's got a lot of character. It's art. Becky's just way ahead of the game. <laughs> Cooperation. Everyone's paying attention except for that one girl who's nodding off. That girl was me in elementary school. <laughs> All these kids are me. This is just projection. Deep inside, he's the one who feels useless. Step in. It's very inelegant. It's very not elegant. Give him a pat on the back and tell him he's a good boy. I feel like that'll go a long way. He probably recognizes what's going on. He seems really insightful about kids, but it's not really his place. Still, you know, a little appreciation. Huh? 
This is really cute, but Damien is just not in the place for this. How much of this is for the mission? How much of it is just Anya? <laughs> Maybe because it's the most artistic. Yes, see? I was way ahead of everyone. I'm way ahead of you. It's got life. It's got flaws and beauty. Let's not do that. We don't need to go all that way. Just show off the, the first prize and that, that'll be good enough. You'll find another mission in about five seconds. Yeah, I got that sense too. Jeeves is in on it. I don't know, I get the feeling a lot of people love Damien. It just doesn't mean anything based on what he's focused on. His father's love is just the focal point of his entire being, which I also get, I get that. That's kind of a shame how that works sometimes. It's like, you can have so much amazing support, but for some reason you get fixated on the thing that you don't have, you know, the person's attention that you don't have. Maybe it has something to do with the fact that negative emotion is a more motivating force because negative emotion, correctly attributed or not, is a warning of danger. There are things that need to be improved, whereas things that are good are things that should stay. So there's nothing to do, right? It's just kind of nurture. And so assigning high value to people who don't treat you the way you wish to be treated based on what you want to believe about yourself, I guess subconsciously highlights a weakness that can feel like life or death. And that maybe at some point in evolution was life or death since, you know, we're so dependent on our survival on other people and groups. But there's a huge tragedy in that because it's missing the beauty that already exists in the relationships that are right in front of people like Damien. Also often the people for whom we're seeking that kind of attention are in a similar situation themselves just with a, a different value scale. And it's all this big circle. Damien's father is almost certainly not the strongest, healthiest, best nurtured person. He's probably a wreck and desires things that he feels like he cannot obtain. And I kind of know that for a fact because while I've never experienced certain facets of life, I've definitely experienced success in ways I know other people envy. You know, I've gotten things that are coveted and and I know that getting things that are coveted is kind of a mixed blessing because in a way that's hard to explain, you immediately become aware more of what it doesn't do for you that you hoped it did. Playing that value game is, is tough because it won't always get you what you want because everyone has different things they're looking for. You will not fill the needs for certain people. You'll always be left out by, by someone. And there are going to be people who are better at you than the, the thing that you've used to try to build some kind of superficial value. So, you know, Damien's father is like this huge, powerful, important figure, but it's no guarantee of any kind of real strength or real happiness or anything like that, even if it appears that way from the outside. Who knows what Damien's father covets, you know? But in the process, they're both kind of missing each other. I mean, he's got these adoring friends, for example, but it's not his target. I mean, that's good to the, you know, to the point that it serves as motivation, but it's not going to make his father be what he needs. She's got to be on the older side with the amount of stuff she's seen. I'll bet her story is crazy. Hey, we like Full Metal around here. Mission 17, Full Metal Lady. This has got to be a reference. She's an alchemist, confirmed. I always wondered if I could handle this kind of work. Yeah, but she might suffer from the same thing. If she underestimates them and gets too careless herself, she's in danger. It just takes one person to figure it out. Boy, just one step of detail above her. I'm interested in seeing what they're building here. Through a window's reflection, no less. I can never do what Lloyd does, though. It would take me 40 years to learn all the hand signals. We just got a really cute dog. He's the best. That is great news and is a huge relief. He's just becoming a proud parent without realizing it. That was an interesting skit. I'm not what was what was that about? That feels like it was building to something, but didn't didn't quite get there. Just a little bit of world building, something to create the tension for the, the spies, the dynamic between them, Lloyd being superior in his detail oriented this handler being lonely feels like a really lonely life. The looming danger for her, was that foreshadowing the fact that she herself might get careless? Was it just me and my mood or was that sort of a more introspective, kind of heartfelt, loneliness-centered episode? If I had to pick up a predominant feeling I got from episode 17, it's like the isolation of a, of a seemingly fruitless task. 
Does it end credits? <laughs> the, the screams. It's the screams for me. And vomiting. <laughs> this explains a lot about Yuri. He just has brain damage. Is it Stockholm Syndrome? That's why he loves his sister. He just got poisoned into fanaticism. This is just abusive on so many levels. That's what I'm saying. Interesting, like, final shot of something really fragile.